Okay, so the integral of sec squared x divided by tan squared x plus 3 tan x plus 2, it looks a lot more intimidating than it actually really is. So how should we approach a problem like this? Now again with integration, it's always like problem solving. It's all about recognizing patterns to make the integrand simpler. So if you spot here that sec squared x is simply the derivative of tan x, then we can go a long way into simplifying this equation because we can just make a standard substitution or what I call a u substitution. So let's substitute u for tan of x and by taking the derivative of u with respect to x we get sec squared x and we can rewrite this as du equals sec squared x dx. So now we can make the substitution du for sec squared x dx and we can substitute u into tan x. So we can rewrite the integral. We can rewrite the integral as the integral of du divided by u squared plus 3u plus 2. Now with the denominator u squared plus 3u plus 2. Let me change color because it's a little bit dark. We can rewrite this as u squared plus u plus 2u plus 2. So I'm just separating the 3u into u plus 2u. And then we can factor out a u in the first two terms. So we can get u outside of u plus 1. And we can factor a 2 out of the last two terms. So we get 2 outside of u plus 1. And factoring the common u plus 1 again, we get u plus 2 by u plus 1. All right, so if I get rid of all this working. Okay, so with the fraction then 1 on u squared plus 3u plus 2, it's equal to 1 on u plus 2 by u plus 1. Okay, now let me locate this to the left of the screen. Okay, so we can break up this into partial fractions. We can rewrite 1 on u plus 2 by u plus 1 as a on u plus 2 plus b on u plus 1. And to work out the coefficients a and b, I can use a shortcut called the cover-up rule. So I'll copy the fraction 1 on u plus 1 by u plus 2. Alright, so to get the coefficient a, we simply let u equals minus 2 and cover up the term u plus 2 and we substitute u equals minus 2 into the other term. So a is equal to 1 on minus 2 plus 1 which equals 1 on negative 1 which equals negative 1. Okay, so for the b coefficient we let u equals negative 1 and we cover up the u plus 1 term and we substitute u equals negative 1. So this gives b equals 1 on negative 1 plus 2 which equals 1 on 1 which equals 1. So therefore we have negative 1 on u plus 2 plus 1 on u plus 1. So if we rewrite the integral again, the integral of du on u squared plus 3u plus 1, it's equal to the integral of 1 on u plus 1 minus 1 on u plus 2. And because we have two separate entities on the right hand side, we can integrate them separately. So the integral of the first term is simply the log of u plus 1, natural log of u plus 1, minus the natural log of u plus 2, plus an integration constant c. Alright, to finish, because we initially let u equals tan x, We'll substitute it back into the u term. So the final answer is the log of 
10x plus 1 minus the log of 10x plus 2 plus the integration constant c. And this is of course equal to the integral of sec squared dx on tan squared x plus 3 tan x plus 2. Alright, so that'll do it for this video. If you found it useful, please like it, share it and subscribe to my channel. And these videos do take me a lot of effort to produce, so I would really appreciate if you can make a small donation via my PayPal or through my channel page. And this will allow me then to create more videos to help math students of the world. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.